5 seconds to go start mandate of section 193 requires that the rst must be produced within 24 hours and taken to the special court or court of judicial metropolitan magistrate having jurisdiction the exercise of the power to arrest is not exempt from the scrutiny of courts the power of judicial review remains both before and after the filing of criminal proceedings prosecution complaint it cannot be said that the courts would exceed their power when they examine the validity of arrest under section 191 of the pml act once the accused is produced in court in terms of section 193 of the pml act before we examine the scope and width of the jurisdiction of the court when it examines validity of arrest under section 191 of the pml act we must take on record and deal with the argument of the doe relying on the paragraphs 176 to 179 in vijay in vijay madanlal choudhary supra under the heading ecir vis a vis fir the submission is that there is a difference between the reasons to believe and the grounds of arrest the latter is mandated to be furnished to the arrestee but the former is an internal and confidential document the furnishing of which may be detrimental to investigation therefore it is urged that reasons to believe need not be supplied to the arrestee paragraphs 178 and 179 of vijay madanlal choudhary supra read the next issue is whether it is necessary to furnish copy of ecir to the person concerned apprehending arrest or at least after his arrest section 191 of the 2002 act postulates that after arrest as soon as may be the person should be informed about the grounds for such arrest this stipulation is compliant with the mandate of article 221 of the constitution being a special legislation and considering the complexity of the inquiry investigation both for the purposes of initiating civil action as well as prosecution non supply of ecir in a given case cannot be faulted the ecir may contain details of the material in possession of the authority and recording satisfaction of reason to believe that the person is guilty of money laundering offence if revealed before the inquiry investigation required to proceed against the property being proceeds of crime including to the person involved in the process or activity connected therewith may have deleterious impact on the final outcome of the inquiry investigation so long as the person has been informed about grounds of his arrest that is sufficient compliance of mandate of article 221 of the constitution moreover the arrested person before being produced before the special court within 24 hours or for that purposes of remand on each occasion the court is free to look into the relevant records made available by the authority about the involvement of the arrested person in the offence of money laundering in any case upon filing of the complaint before the statutory period provided in 1973 code after arrest the person would get all relevant materials forming part of the complaint filed by the authority under section 441b of the 2002 act before the special court viewed thus supply of ecir in every case to person concerned is not mandatory from the submissions made across the bar it is noticed that in some cases ed has furnished copy of ecir to the person before filing of the complaint that does not mean that in every case same procedure must be followed 
it is enough if ed at the time of arrest contemporaneously discloses the grounds of such arrest to such person stop